welcome to Man That's Cooking! In this video, we're going to show you how to make Dutch oven chicken soup. Yes, so this is a very hearty soup. We're going to have a lot of chicken in this soup. It's going to be easy to make because we're going to cook everything in the Dutch oven. That means a lot less things to clean up. Alright, so the first step, we're going to dice up all the veggies. So we're going to start with one yellow onion and dice that up. Next, you want to dice up three to four stalks of celery. And once you rough cut it, go ahead and break it down a little bit just like this. Next, you want to peel and slice six carrots. So these ingredients are a rough guide, uh, depending on the size of the carrots and the celery and all that. You can use your own judgment. You can see what we're doing here and make adjustments accordingly based on whatever you've purchased at the grocery store. Now we're going to use a lot of garlic here. We're going to have six garlic cloves and we're going to mince this with a knife. If you have minced garlic in a jar, Go for that, but this is better. Fresh is always better, and it's cheaper. Next, we're going to add one sprig, roughly about five, six, seven leaves of sage. This is a fresh herb. You want to make sure you're using fresh herbs. You can find them in the produce section in your supermarket. Next, you want to add two sprigs of fresh rosemary. Now, man here is going a little over the top. That's a little bit too much rosemary. But hey, if you like rosemary, go for it. And finally, you want to add four sprigs of fresh thyme because that's the trifecta. Sage, rosemary, and thyme. Remind you of the holidays, Thanksgiving, all that good stuff, all that good flavor. Alright, so while we were doing that, we've preheated a Dutch oven on medium heat. And we're going to go ahead and add the two chicken breasts into that Dutch oven, skin side down. So what we're doing here is searing the chicken for about three minutes on each side. And we're going to turn it to the side, to the left, to the right, to the top, to the bottom. Get all sides and brown as much as possible sear as much as possible. That searing is going to add flavor to the chicken and it's also going to add flavor to the bottom of the Dutch oven which is what we want. As you can start to see a buildup of colorization at the bottom of the Dutch oven, well that's flavor and that is just going to make the soup even better. Next we'll do the same thing with two chicken thighs just so we can have some dark meat into this soup. Now this is optional. You can mix and match. You can use whatever you have available. Now to just state the obvious here, we've got two large chicken breasts and two thighs. That's a lot of meat. This is going to be a very hearty soup and for some of you out there that might be too much. So be aware of that if you don't want a, a super meaty type soup. Dial it back. Maybe do one breast, one thigh. Or if you don't like dark meat, just do two chicken breasts. That's it. Now, once you've seared all the chicken, go ahead and add some olive oil in the pan and then pour in the diced veggies. So you're going to cook this mirepoix for about eight minutes and then drop in the garlic cloves. And you want to dial the heat back a little bit before doing so. Add the herbs and cook for about one minute, maybe two, and then add some chicken stock. Next, we're going to add one cup of chicken stock and use a wooden spoon to scrape the bottom of the Dutch oven. So all that dark coloring uh, from the chicken searing stage there, that's going to come up with the uh, wooden spoon and it's all flavor. It's delicious flavor. It's gonna add another dimension of intenseness to this soup and it's good. So next you wanna add eight cups or 32 ounces of chicken broth. 
Man has some homemade broth that we're going to use. If you want to make homemade broth, check out some of our other videos. We show you how to do that. And after you add the broth, go ahead and add the chicken into the pot. Bring it to a boil. Then dial back the heat to a medium low and cover it. So after about 30 minutes of cooking on medium low, just take a temperature of the chicken if you have a thermometer. Uh, everything should be good and safe. We want to elevate it at least past 165 in the breast, 175 in the thigh. If not, it's not ready yet and you want to keep cooking. But at this point, temperatures should be reaching the high 180s, 190s, and that's fine. It's not going to dry out because it's a soup. Also check the tenderness of the carrots. They should be good to go at this point. And if so, remove all the chicken from the soup. Put it on a cookie sheet to let it cool down because we're going to break down the chicken in the next step. At this point, you can also check the soup for any bones, any weird uh, pieces of skin that may fell off of the chicken. You know, anything you want to remove, any odds and ends. Also, as mentioned earlier in this video, man put too much rosemary into the soup. And you could take this moment if you want to remove excess herbs, if maybe you've cooked it like man here. Because everything's floating at the top, and you could just use a slotted spoon just like this, and get rid of excess. You know, you can also put all the, uh, the herbs in cheesecloth, or the chicken in cheesecloth as well, if you want to get fancy and try to, you know, contain anything from breaking off. That'll prevent that from happening. You'll keep it all in the cheesecloth. But that's, that's a fancy extra step. If you feel like being fancy, go for it. Anyway, once the chicken cools down enough, about 10-15 minutes, and you can handle it, um, go ahead and break off the meat. Uh, remove the skin. You're not going to use the skin. We're done with that. And if your pan is sliding around, put a towel underneath that pan, and that'll keep it from sliding around if you have one of these fancy uh, granite countertops careful some of this is still going to be pretty hot if you have some heat gloves yeah don't burn your hand like man all right you only have two we attract some interesting folks out there on youtube so maybe some of you have three hands who knows but once you manage to remove all the meat from the bones remove the skin this is what's going to go back into the soup and by the way, this is pretty much the last manual step. So once you clear this hurdle, you are on your way to the easy, easy life. Yes. Easy, delicious soup coming up after this. And homemade chicken soup is so much better than anything you're going to buy in a can or at the store. This is the best. All right, so the final ingredient is going to be egg noodles. And we've got a package here. And you can see the serving size is two for package. So we're going to cut this in half. We're looking for like two to three cups of dry noodles. But that's hard to measure. And in reality, what you really want to do is use half of one of these packages. After you add the noodles... Increase the heat, bring it to a low boil for about 15 minutes or until these noodles are tender, which they should be tender at 15 minutes. Then reduce the heat and add the chicken back into the soup. Now you can place the temperature on low and you can serve when ready. Oh, yeah. Look at all that chicken. Look at that. I mean, this is a hearty soup right here. This will keep you warm in the cold winter. Look at this. Now, of course, again, you don't have to add as much chicken if it's too much for you, if you can't handle it. That's a chicken overload. Dial it back.
But I think you'll find that it's actually a delicious... It's, it's wonderful to have this much chicken in the soup. It's excessive, yes. But hey, live large, YOLO, baby. When's the last time you had, like, some soup with your chicken? Food porn for flyover. Take a look at that. And you made it all in one pan, your Dutch oven, so you have a lot less cleanup to do. And what's great is you could add these to the large ball jars and vacuum seal it and freeze it in your freezer. And then you've got chicken soup that you could take out any time in the future, thaw it out and enjoy. All right, so let's get a bowl of soup. Why not? So you've heard of chunky soup, the soup that eats like a meal. No, this is a meal. I mean, I think we might need some uh, football players to sponsor this soup right here. Of course, you can add salt and pepper to season this if you like crackers, oyster crackers, whatever. Add it. It's good. So hey, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please click like, click subscribe. If you make this recipe, leave us some comments. Let us know how it turned out. Check us out at Facebook. Check us out at manthatscooking.com. You're going to find the entire recipe for this video with all the ingredients there.